Hello, my name is Alvin Atkinson and welcome to the Jazz Academy. Today we're going to talk about feathering the bass drum, but more specifically, a concept that I developed over the years entitled the reverse feathering. Now, the conventional feathering you would hear, it's a constant quarter note with the bass. Let me show you a quick example. One, two, a one, two, three, four. One, two, a one, two, three, four. So you hear this bass going on, right? But sometimes you might hear this. Now, the reason I want to introduce you to the reverse feathering is because that bass it can be too loud. We have a bass player already. We don't want to hear this loud bass drum. So the reverse feather, instead of playing your beater against the head like this, let's say your foot is right here. You're going to take your heel, you're going to bury the beater, and you're going to take your heel and just hit the floor. So you're going to hear this click, but no bass drum. This allows you to continue to feel that pulse in the ensemble. Now listen to this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. To give you a little more detailed example, I'm going to play the regular feathering, and then I'm going to do the same accents, and you'll notice that they kind of get buried in the feathering. Listen to this. You could barely tell which was the accented note and which was just the feathering. Now listen to the same concept, the same motif with the reverse feathering. So now quickly, we're going to do a fast tempo. I'm going to let you hear the regular feathering and then the reverse feathering. Here's the regular feathering. So it's so much bass drum. Now listen with the reverse feathering and you'll hear all those colors out of the bass drum that you were really looking for. One, two, one, two, three. 